Hello, a good day to one and all. My name is Aaron, and I will be presenting to you on cybersecurity and effective defense against cyber attacks. I'm sure most of you have heard, have heard of the term cyber attack or was even a victim of it. Cyber attacks are most commonly in the form of Trojan horses and spyware. Trojan horses come into our computers when we open malicious emails and when we download programs and applications from unsafe sources. Increasingly, Trojans are the first stage of a cyber attack and their primary purpose is to stay hidden while they download stronger threats into your computer. Spyware is the general term used for programs that covertly monitors your activity on your computer and gathers your personal information such as usernames, passwords, as well as other sensitive data. So yes, we are all targets of cyber attacks and it is necessary to take preventive measures to protect ourselves. So let us come to the question, what is a cyber attack? A cyber attack is a deliberate exploitation of computer systems and network that uses malicious code to compromise data and lead to cyber crimes. Trojan horses and spyware are not the only forms of cyber attack. Other forms of cyber attack include point of sale intrusion, web application attacks, payments card schemers, cyber espionage, as well as denial of service attacks. Some high profile victims include Sony Pictures Entertainment, Morgan Stanley, Google, Apple, and many others. Attackers have a wide range of motives and can be carried out by an individual or groups. Some attacks yield immediate results, while some may not show any signs until months or even years later. If even major companies with cybersecurity measures in place can be attacked, then what about us? Now, why and how are we open to being attacked? In today's world, consumers and companies have found that technology and interconnectivity offered by the internet and electric devices, sorry, electronic devices, to be increasingly ubiquitous and integral to almost every facade of our modern society. Moreover, the number of internet users in the world is at an all-time high. However, these benefits are far from, far from risk-free as it exposes users to potential cyber attacks. Technology innovation such as cloud data, big data and Internet of Things where the internet and devices are increasingly interdependent, a disruption of one component may affect many others. In the past few years, experts and policy makers have expressed growing concerns about protecting information and communication systems from cyber attacks, which is expected to increase in frequency and severity over the next few years. Protecting such systems and their contents is known as cybersecurity. Their concerns, these concerns and their potentially catastrophic consequences have forced both government and corporate entities to take a serious look at their vulnerabilities and importance of cybersecurity. Past studies have shown that management of risk and good practices are considered fundamental to effective cybersecurity. Risk from as arising from any cyber attack depends on three factors. Threats, which is what does the cyber attack do or can do, Vulnerab vulnerabilities or how well is the security, as well as impacts or what are the consequences of the cyber attack. Most cyber attacks have limited effects, but a successful attack on critical infrastructure can result in catastrophic consequences. Reducing such risk involves removing threat origins, patching vulnerabilities, and mitigating impacts. Although there are many, there are many studies regarding cybersecurity in the past, the cybersecurity landscape is ever-changing and it is important to be constantly updated. Hence, further research is needed on the latest trends in cyber attacks as well as the advancement in security measures to maintain the effectiveness of cybersecurity. The objective of the study is to determine how effective are current conventional cybersecurity measures in mitigating and managing this risk of, of cyber attacks and how these measures can be improved. A set of various cyber attack methods that are most commonly used today will be decided upon, and different sets of conventional cybersecurity measures that users and companies 
frequently rely upon today will be tested on by the experimental cybernetics. An analysis and evaluation of how resistant are the cybersecurity measures will be identified, will be carried out, and the measures that are most effective will be identified, helping the various entities to review the current cybersecurity measures in place and manage their risk. Thank you for listening to my presentation.